In this video, I'm gonna show you not one, but three different map effects. Let's go. So the first map effect I'm gonna show you is how to create this 3D elevated effect. For this, I use free vector maps to download this EPS file here. But again, this can be of a country whatever you wanna find, as long as it's a detailed image where you can remove the background. So in a new composition here, I've added my image of Antarctica and I've used the extract tool to basically remove the background of my image. And then I've applied a fill color to it. In the background here, I've just added a background color. This can be whatever you like. Now the next part is we want to basically then duplicate this and then create another layer here on top. Now to this, what I've done is I've changed my fill color to be something slightly lighter than what was the, the color underneath. So you basically, if you're picking a blue, you just wanna go one or two shades lighter. Then I'm using a matte choker. Now you can find all of these by just searching for them up here and then just dragging them onto your layer. So these are the exact settings I'm using here for my matte choker. Once I've got that, then I can add a drop shadow and that creates a nice drop shadow which sits underneath our layer. It helps basically you know, stack those layers on top of each other. These are the exact settings I'm using for my drop shadow here. That's all you need to do. Then I can basically duplicate that layer and I can start this process again. I'm gonna make this slightly lighter again and then I can just drag down on the softness until I have another layer. So it's basically just a matter of repeating this process until you stack all the layers on top of each other. Now, if you drag this all the way up, the softness, and you find that you can't get any more out of it, it eventually just hit 100. What you can do is start to drag up on the iterations and that'll give you more, basically a smaller size. So you can pick, keep going smaller and smaller and smaller. Even after this maxes out, you can just go up one iteration and you can keep making that smaller and smaller. So once you've got this finished effect, then you can apply say a trail effect over the top. You can change the colors and change the background to be whatever you like. Now, if you wanna learn more about creating animations just like these, then you can check out my animation master course. And in that I run you through from the very basics on how to use After Effects right up to creating some really awesome looking animations and effects. In the course, I teach you over 50 different animations and I walk you through how to use the program step by step. So even if you've never used the program before, you can follow along from a complete beginner's point of view. Now, if you're interested in learning more about that, then you can click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Now for this second effect, what you can do is basically highlight a certain section of a map. So for instance, I have this isometric map here and I've basically just isolated a section you know, to basically cut that area out. Now for this particular map that I'm using, I got that from today's sponsor, Invado Elements, because they have lots of these different isometric maps already that you can use using their unlimited download license. So this is the exact version that I'm using here from Invado Elements, but they've got hundreds of these map designs. If you just search for maps under Invado Elements, you can basically just find lots of different types of maps that you can just download and use in your projects. Now, the best part about Envato Elements is it not only includes all of these maps, you can download stock video, music, sound effects, graphics, templates. If you don't wanna animate any of these in After Effects, they already have a ton of these video templates under map that you can basically just download and use in your next project. Even better that you can now download all of this stuff for free in selected countries under their free seven day trial. And if you wanna to continue to use Envato Elements yourself, you can use the link down in the description below, and that's gonna give you 50% off when you sign up to an annual subscription. Now, what I did with this was I used Photoshop to basically create this effect or part of this effect. So I opened up my file here, then using the magic wand tool, I can just select the area that I want to highlight and just create a new layer. So as you can see here, I've got that layer now isolated here on screen. Now the best part is I can just save this as a Photoshop file. And when I import this file into After Effects, it's going to ask me what I'd like to do. I can choose the different layers that I've got available to me. So I can import both of these as separate layers. And you can see here that I now have those two layers on separate files. If I import them into my composition here, 
I can now separate them into individual layers. Now, the best part about doing it this way is if I wanna go back and recreate another area or select another area, I can select it here, right click, create a new layer. And now I've got a second layer there. And then I can import that layer back into After Effects and I have another layer highlighted. Now with that layer, what I can do is basically select this. To this, I can apply a fill color. And now I've got an area of my map that is now isolated. So for those people who are asking, how do I highlight a section of my map? That is one of the best and fastest ways to do it. And it makes it really easy to go back and make changes to that selected area. Now this third effect is all about applying a texture effect to a map. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you take this map here, I've got underneath is this crumpled piece of paper. And what I want is I want my map layer to basically come through over the top. So I wanna see that map. Now I could just apply a simple map over the top and create a multiply effect, which I've done here. So I've just dragged my map layer in over the top. Then over the top of that, I've added a paper texture effect. And then I've just changed the blending mode to be multiply. Now what this does is it creates the look of that texture coming through to our map but it's not actually, the map underneath is not actually following the contours of that map. So what you can do is if I add another paper layer underneath, so I've got another paper layer which sits underneath here, I can then to that paper layer on the bottom, I can add a Gaussian blur and I can make this be about 60, so that blurs that background. And the other thing that I can do is to that map is I can come up here and apply a displacement map. Now what a, a displacement map does, if I select this as my bottom layer and I make sure effects and mass is selected, I can change these to luminance. For mine, I've set this to be about a hundred for each of these. Now what this does is it makes my map follow the contours of that texture underneath. So it creates a much more realistic, like it's sitting on top of that texture if I show you before and after, rather than just being kind of a overlay effect. It bends your map to follow the contours of that effect or texture underneath. So this is really useful when you're trying to create a really textured, authentic map. This particular effect can look really, really good. So that's three different map effects that you can create. If you like this video, then you can give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these videos, then definitely let me know in the comments section below. If you love this video, then maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.